which city is better to get part-time jobs? Is there any uh, difference studying inside Auckland and outside Auckland? In terms of getting part-time jobs, Krishma, I think you, uh, the, uh, uh, in fact, in my uh, seminar in, um, uh, on Sunday in Auckland, I was telling them, the collected, uh, the, the assembled people that, you know, earlier I, used, I also used to think that only the large cities have opportunities, but then I've traveled very extensively across New Zealand about three or four times. I've done tip to tip about three or four times. So I practically know every road in New Zealand. I don't want to sound immodest, but I actually have traveled very, very crazily across New Zealand. And I think very few people would have traveled New Zealand the way I have done. And I and I drive everywhere. I take my car and I drive. So I've changed my mind about the smaller towns. I think they have as many opportunities as the bigger towns. In fact, the government is now trying very, very hard to decongest about the bigger cities and send more people into the smaller cities. So you definitely have an advantage in studying outside Auckland because not only will your cost of living be lower, but if you do find that opportunity after you finish your course, and I think the opportunities are there, uh, you will be able to uh, settle down faster because you also get 30 extra points uh, if you get a job outside Auckland when you're you know, about to apply for your residency. I think uh, you get 30 extra points. So I think it's a very good idea to consider studying outside Auckland. And Auckland is also the cost of living uh, is a little um, higher. So I would strongly encourage